Hey there, welcome to another Fortnite action figure review video. Today we are taking a look at the newly released Doggo Legendary Series 6 inch action figure from Jazzwares. He's kind of a cool looking figure, he's got all this stuff. We'll take a look at the back of the package. There he is, Doggo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's okay? I uh, got the cross sail down here with Eternal Voyager, Drift, Fish Stick, P1000, X, X Lord, Scavenger. We have done all of them except for P1000. He will be here in a few days to a few weeks. I'm not quite sure what the delivery, but he is on order and he will be here. And I will talk about him when he gets here. So, but for now, we're talking about Doggo. Let's get this guy open and take a look at him. Here he is out of the package. In the game, he is an epic skin. He is part of the Grumble Gang set, and you can buy him when available in the item shop for 1500 V-Bucks. He comes with all these accessories. Let's take a look at them now. He comes with his harvesting tool, the Chew Toy, the big golden orange looking bone that, I don't know, I don't want to be thudded by this, do you? His back bling, the Chow Down, which is just simply a food or a water bowl that says Odin on it. There's the peg. There's his back. It goes right on. He comes with a pump shotgun. A really cool looking mini gun that's got this gray and kind of a gold bronze look to it here. Besides the face he comes with that's currently on him, he comes with three other faces as well. Happy, oh my goodness, and I'm not sure what that one means. Let's take a look at his articulation and his movement. Mine's a little bit stiff, so I don't know if all of them are, but uh, he can move pretty well. There's only a few small hindrances. He can rotate his head left and right. I can't quite get to go, well, I could get to go all the way around, but I'm kind of forcing it. He can look down. It's a little bit difficult to look up because of this hood that's attached to his head won't really allow that. His shoulders will allow his arms to turn all the way around. He's got the bicep rotation and his shoulders, the shoulders from my figure are really, really stiff. He's got double pin elbows. His wrists, wrists, his wrists will rotate all the way around and the hinge will go back and forth. He's got the standard finger hinge right there. Below the hoodie, he does have a twist and his waist will rotate. The hoodie doesn't come off in the way the figure is laid out. The head, you probably have to remove this head to get this hoodie off. There's no little uh, way of unhooking it. Or you could just cut it off, but I don't know. I wouldn't cut it off. He can do the splits just like so, but some good stiffness there. His thighs will rotate and he's got double pin knees right there. He's got a calf rotation at the top of his boot, so I guess maybe it's a boot rotation now, and his ankles will also rotate all the way around, as well as hinge up and hinge down like so. The last bit will be his toe hinge that will move his toe up and down. It, the box says he's got 40 points of articulation, and he's got a lot of movement on there, so I believe, hey, look at that, he's pointing at you. Hey there, you, hey, hey, hey. Let's take a look at his faces next. So as stated before, he's got interchangeable faces. You got to reach back in there to find the edge to be able to pull his initial, his uh, first face off. Let's pop on this one. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Doggo is. <laughs> and we got to pull this thing off. We got to reach back in there and maybe use some fingernails if you got them. Pop this one on. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's a cool looking face. I like these faces. They're pretty cool. If you can get them off. It's a little bit difficult with this hood to uh, reach in there and pull them off. We'll do the next one now. And I'm not sure what to think about this face. He's just kind of like, I think he's lost. I don't think he knows how to get home. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. And we'll go back to the original face that he was packaged with. He's ready to go. All right, let's take a peek at him and his accessories all geared up. 
I thought it would be fun to have him hold the minigun since we haven't seen the minigun with one of these six inch figures before. And I'll tell you this, with these um, with these uh, finger joints, it was really difficult to get to this point. In fact, he's not actually holding it back here. The fingers are just kind of in the hole just to simulate it. He's mostly holding it here with his left hand. And that's because I'm really lucky. This thing could uh, can fall out pretty easily. Uh, these fingers just are not meant to go inside of this hole right here. They don't, it won't fit. It's just, you'd have to squeeze it together to get that finger even maybe in that hole right there. So that's a bit of a disappointment. So this is probably going to go better with another figure. And I even probably had it uh, the wrong way anyway. But trying to get both hands to crimp down around both of these handles at the same time for me is pretty difficult. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you can do that a lot better than I can. But there, we kind of shoved it right there. Let's see, how does the bone fit in his hand? Squeeze it down. It's actually pretty tight with the bone. I'm going to clubber you. Ah, ah, ah. Maybe rotate this around, keeping his hands kind of tight. So the hand, uh, left, uh, right hand here, seems pretty tight around that. Well, it did. The left hand also, I think, can squeeze down kind of good on it. Good enough that it can hold. Well, maybe not. I think the right hand is doing a lot better for this uh, squeezing down. So he holds that pretty good. How about the pump shotgun? How's about it? We'll see if we can get this uh, trigger wrapped around the finger. Can he wrap it around the finger? Can we? Can we? Can we? I don't think all Fortnite hands are... There we go. Now he's got it. That works really well. This pump shotgun works really good. Although a little kind of, he's holding it kind of odd here. But that crimped down real, real nice. He's got the nice long finger there. How about on the left hand? Once you get it in there, yeah, it works pretty good. Once you get it in. We've got him on the ground. We're wrestling him. I'm showing you all this just to give you an idea of how I put weapons on them. And how difficult it is for me sometimes. That way you don't feel weird if it doesn't work right away like I try to show it to you. So the left hand, I think, works pretty good too. It all kind of hooks in there together. So he's got a good grip on the pump shotgun. And it's not going, it's not dropping. That's a good grip right there for that. So we'll give him his bone, his chew toy, and the pump shotgun. There we go. There's a dog you don't want to mess with. This dog's bite is probably as big as his bark. That's doggo for you. All right. Initially, I didn't like. I don't like this uh, uh, skin in the game. I could do without it, but I like the figure. The, the Jazzwares, you guys are, you're doing really good with the figures. You're making figures from skins that I don't like. That I like the figures for. Anyway, that's it for me today. That's it. This is Doggo. He's here. He's out. Look for him on Amazon. He pops in and out. Sometimes he's for sale. Sometimes he's out of stock. Get him while you can. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps the channel. Helps me know you like these videos. And consider subscribing because then you'll be notified. If you hit the bell notification icon, you will be notified when more and new videos come out. And you, know, you can find them. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.